Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody, on November 2nd. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right. Good to see you, Grant. Ben, good to see you, everyone. Good to see everybody bright and early. Hopefully, everybody's not going anywhere this Friday. A lot of excitement. We just got a big, big news that came out, right? Jobs are up over 250,000. And then we had a little correction all of a sudden. The market came down. I was like, I guess they were looking for 400,000. It seems like Wall Street's starting to get pretty spoiled. But anyway, 3.7% uh, unemployment. And, uh, and we got a nice little tweet yesterday. So President Trump tweeted that things are going well with China. So let me tell you, yesterday was another big winner with all the Chinese stocks. Everything across the board took off. Uh, you could see here IEQ was one of them. Um, I still have them. A couple of stocks are moving pretty nicely that I held as a swing trade. And they were great, great day trades. But, uh, you know, it's all about timing. You know, like I told you about being a, being a good swing trader, you got to know how to day trade first because, you know, you just start to realize like, well, you know what? The stock took a little bit of a beating. Maybe now it'll start to come back, you know, knowing your image support levels. So everything that you always taught uh, regarding about how to day trade is going to implement into a swing trade, into an options trade. And that's what the ultimate goal is. So we got a bunch of things we want to talk about and want to go through some of the trades that uh, that moved, obviously, yesterday before we go through our own watch list. So let's start off talking about the PXS. Okay, so PXS was a nice little run yesterday. You could see that on a long-term chart. It went from a buck all the way to $3.50. Great, great mover yesterday. Two forty dollars all the way to three seventy. dollars Nice winner, nice runner. Everything that we were looking for. That was a really, really nice mover. Really like that one. The Fitbit was a great um, trade yesterday. It uh, had great earnings from the day before and was and was shockingly, it had such a great pop right at the gate. 540 to 620. Another great winner. Nice little cheapy stock. We've watched Fitbit for a while. Looks like they're starting to come out of the box a little bit. And, you know, I know they have a lot of competition with the new Apple phone and stuff, but, <laughs> and we'll talk about Apple in about a minute because I don't know what the hell's going on with that one. ECA, another nice little mover right there. I still like the ECA going into this more uh, this morning. Now you could see ECA took a huge hit from 14 all the way down to about seven, came back a little bit. Once again, you want to be a good swing trader, you better damn know how to day trade because what do we always say? No overnights. And the reason why people lose in overnights is because they don't want to know how to take a loss from the day before and think it's going to come back and they wake up and Boom, this is what they have that coming to them. So anyway, those all do pretty good. AMD also did really well yesterday. Uh, I know it came back from some bad earnings. It started recovering a little bit from the week before, but that also, another big winner right out of the gate. And then the ears. Ears, um, you know, very cheap little stock. We've traded it so many times. And, uh, you know, just not too long ago, we went from like 50 cents to $2, came back down. But this stock, you got to be careful. It's a little bit more of a of a short squeeze. So we got to be really, really careful with the ease, but a lot of people did pretty well on that trade. So that's what basically was going on. Now there's a lot of other things that are moving this morning. Once again, going across the board, all the China stocks are doing pretty well. Uh, they started backing off in the middle of the day. I don't know if that has something to do with the, with the job report uh, here in the U S but it seems like when, when the, when the announcement came out around three, uh, eight 30 this morning, they started backing off a little bit. So, I'm, I'm, I'm on my swing trade. Listen, I, you know, owning it all the way when we were trading it at 11 o'clock this morning at 2050, it broke higher highs, gave me no reason to sell it right around one o'clock when it got to 25, uh, what was that? Uh, 2250. If it holds right here, you know, I'm going to hold it for a while, but I'll tell you the truth. I'm, I'll probably hold it all the way down to about 2175, you know, at the next support level. Now, um, as, as a swing trade, as a day trade, let's see how it goes into the open. But so far, it looks pretty good. That one's not bad. Hoya, H-U-A-Y-A, another one, big runner, also traded with it. And, and so funny, we, we, we traded all these stocks. Neo, another Tesla um, China stock right there. That one did pretty well. One stock we're not trading is Alibaba. <laughs> but that thing did really, really well yesterday. That one was in the buck 30s and came all the way back up, maybe less than that. Went all the way up. That one gapped up pretty nicely, but we're not trading Alibaba. We got more money to spend. And then the one I jumped in this morning 
was the C, um, which was the CI F, um, FS. I got in early. I mean, listen, I tell you guys, I'm here at 7.30 in the morning. I know the room opens up at 8, but I called this one out. Um, you could see this one got destroyed from 45 all the way down to a buck 60. So I'm hovering right around 205, uh, 202 I have it. I kind of averaged up on this stock right here early this morning. So it seems like the only one that really didn't run yet. So that one obviously is going to be on my watch list. A couple of the ones that are not China stocks we're going to throw on that list. EXEL. That one's gapping up pretty nice from 15 to 17. Kind of holding here flat right now. Trade 70,000 shares. Still got some room right there. We'll see it. Not the greatest iceberg orders out there in the matrix if you look on the right. And then the PBYI is another one I'm looking at also. Now this stock, once again, crushed, crushed from 38 down to 23, down 38%. And knowing it's a biotech stock, what do we all know about biotechs and pharmaceutical stocks, guys? What do we all know about them? They don't come back. <laughs> and looking at it, it doesn't look like we'll probably get a dead cow bounce any soon. And then also, um, shockingly, Apple did not do too well. Uh, yesterday's close at 22, opened, it's all the way down to 200 and. Uh, 222 and it's down to 206 so that one's not doing too well to uh, doing too well down six percent that's a pretty significant drop for an apple great so we'll see how that kind of pans out you know look like it's going back to where it was when the market took a little bit of a correction now uh, anything else guys I'm missing I did not call out the uh, the a the y e c o trade the y that one really nice stock oh I forgot to also mention the ECA the YECO, nice little push. It looks like it just came out. Um, you can see it right here on the big percentage gainers. The only concern I have with this stock, because we did trade it not too long ago, went from 2 to 16. We know this is one of those typical short squeeze stocks uh, because it came right back down to $4. But And also keep an eye on the tier sizes. The tier sizes are very, very tricky on this stock right here. Remember, you want it, you, you're trading X amount of shares. You can only buy when someone's willing to sell you. And remember, it's not about the winning, it's the losing. Remember what I talked about yesterday, guys? One of the big things that we always try to teach, and I always want you guys to share your knowledge here, is don't, don't always focus on the winners. You could always throw a couple of losers in there and let people know here that we do lose money. <laughs> it's, you know, it's part of the game. So, you know, and, and, and listen, I always say it even in class. Hey, that was a great loss. And why was it a good loss? I says, you know what? I would, I would take a $200 loss any day because at about 10 minutes from now, it ended up being a $2,000 loss. So got to have that. Um, got to have that game plan. All right. Uh, was this thing dropping? Yeah, IQ's dropping. Okay, so I'm going to keep a close eye on that stock. I want to see where it's going at. But um, what else I had? I said the ECA, right? That was another one that Hannah. Yeah, that's the one. I, I want to keep an eye on that because it took a big hit from yesterday and it might it look like it came back a little bit. So um, it's up a little bit. Well, it was up a little bit this morning. I want to keep an eye on it. I always like to see these stocks get really crushed yesterday, and sometimes they come back. Yeah, the shipping stocks, uh, tops, you know, we owe, for some reason, you got to be careful. That's like, that stock's got nasty shakes, you know? I, I have a, <laughs> Kent all knows me very well. I've, I have a very bad experience when it comes to trading these, uh, these uh, shipping stocks, we made a lot of money on it. We made a lot of money, and uh, I gave a I gave a lot of it, not too much back, but rather just stick with something else. <laughs> CZR. Okay, so that one, uh, Caesars Entertainment had a really really good pop in after hours yesterday, but she's really kind of flat right here. She's not really going anywhere. We'll keep an eye on it. Um, I'm actually going to be there in two weeks um, for the expo but uh i don't know I, well, it it, it kind of like it, it, this looks like you know it looks like it, it's kind of flat in pre-market fernando i'll probably pass on as of right now we'll put it on the list but we'll see how it opens up okay now everyone remember today is friday what do we know about fridays it's a new month a lot of people there's gonna be so much news coming out over the weekends elections are on tuesday you got a great jobs report um I don't know uh, how it's going to trickle down regarding about, uh, you know, going to this election because, I don't know, they're saying now the Democrats are, might uh, pretty much might be taking the House. You know, so if that happens, 
We'll see how Wall Street reacts to it, but you can't disregard what's going to happen on these job reports. So we'll see how that goes. Once again, Ken, don't share your political beliefs here because <laughs> we we don't uh, <laughs> we're all we're all the same party when it comes as traders. All right, guys, listen. Good luck. Happy trading. We'll see you back at two thirty. If you make your money early in the morning, take the rest of the day off. All right, and we'll go from there. All right, and then we'll see you back on Monday. If not, if things look pretty good with all these with the news coming out, let's just trade going to the close. Listen, let's try to make money, but it's the beginning of the month. I love November. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.